So I'm sure all of you guys have already been well aware of this pretty much since we got both of the trailers for Jedi Survivor, but we did not see any of the Mantis crew outside of Seer, and then obviously Cal in both of those trailers. Both Merrin and Grease were completely MIA from both of the trailers, and a lot of people, myself included, are very, I guess, nervous and confused about what this could mean. So today we're going to be going through and sort of speculating where they could be, why they might not have been in those trailers, and on top of discussing the stuff that I'm going to say in the video, obviously I'm very keen to hear your own speculations as well. So throughout the video, be sure to leave your comments on what you guys think is the reason behind those two not being in either of these trailers. Now, like I mentioned, the only character that we have seen outside of Cal from the Mantis crew is Seer, and we do only see her very briefly as well. And she definitely looks like she's been off on her own. She's been doing her own thing. It looks like she's kind of setting up like a new Jedi archive or something there. This place looks very similar to Bogano. Obviously, it's pretty hard to tell, and it is inside, so that could literally be anywhere in the entire galaxy, but it's it does look like some of those rooms that we see on Bogano. So my speculation is that she's there doing her own thing, trying to, I guess, like restore the Jedi Order or something like that, or at least set up the archive and, you know, get some groundwork done before they maybe go and try to rebuild the order. But then at the same time, the way that Fallen Order ended, that doesn't really make sense because they pretty much said they don't want to take people from their families in terms of like young kids who are clearly force sensitive because they're just going to be on the hunt from the Empire their entire lives. So it's pretty hard to tell what she's doing there. It looks to me like she's setting up an archive, which you would think would be to help bring back the Jedi Order, but she could just be setting up the archive just for like history sake and just sort of keeping a record of everything that's happened. So it's pretty hard to tell what she is doing, but for me, it seemed pretty obvious she's been off on her own doing her own thing. She looks very different than she did in the first game. And even just the way she addresses Cal in that scene, it definitely just seems like they haven't seen each other for quite a while. Now, although we do see her, like I said, Merrin and Grease are not seen in either of the trailers so far. They are seen on the cover of the new Jedi Survivor novel that's coming out, I think, on March 7th and so I'd imagine they will definitely be in the game a lot of people are saying like oh maybe they're not in the game at all I don't think that would make any sense for them to just pretty much remove through characters especially because both of those characters are really well liked by the community so yeah for all those worrying that they might not be in the game at all. I definitely don't think that will be the case. Now, obviously, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the book, but I don't imagine they would, like, kill those characters off in the book and then just not really explain that in the game. If they're going to die, you would think it would be in the game. So I'm personally not worried about them being, like, replaced or removed or anything like that, but it is still just a little bit odd that they do not show up at all in the trailers. Now, the other part that makes it even more interesting is that we see the clip of Cal flying the Mantis, which, to me personally, it feels like Grease would not let him do that. If Grease were around and they're both, you know, together, I'm fairly sure Grease would say, no, you're absolutely not flying the Mantis. That is like his pride and joy and he's obviously a very good pilot and he seems almost the same way like that Han Solo is with the Falcon. He just would not want to let anyone else touch that unless he absolutely has to. So to me, that makes it feel as though maybe him and maybe Merrin is with him as well. Maybe they're in trouble, maybe they've been captured or they're hurt somewhere or something like that. I'm not really too sure, but the way that we see Cal flying it, that adds a little bit more mystery to it as well because is there has to be a reason why Cal is flying the Mantis on his own. Now, something else that was actually mentioned in Jedi Fallen Order, and this is a very like small little section of the game. I think it's once you've actually finished the game and then you go back to Zepho, Seer actually talks about Merrin and sort of mentions that she's been, you know, living in the same place her whole life. She lived on Dathomir pretty much from birth until when we meet her in the game. And then obviously she comes with the crew. And so maybe Merrin wants to go off and, you know, explore the galaxy and just get out there because she's been on the same planet her whole life. And let's be honest, Dathomir is probably not the nicest place to be living your whole life. So the fact that that was mentioned in Fallen Order is definitely a little bit interesting. Now, personally, I don't think that Merrin would just ditch the crew and be like, all right, I'm going on a holiday. Like that doesn't really make sense either. So I'm not too sure if that's the case, but I did just want to mention that because yeah, that is officially in Fallen Order. That is mentioned by Sia. It's not really speculation whether she says that. So I thought that was worth mentioning as well. Now, another theory that I've seen is that maybe Sia had gone off on her own, but obviously Grease and Merrin stayed with Cal and they were off doing their own adventures and maybe Grease and Merrin were actually injured or they're in danger somewhere. And the reason that Cal is actually flying alone is that he has to essentially get in the Mantis and go and try and find Seer, meet up with her and get her help to go and save Merrin and Grease or something like that. Because it does kind of seem in the most recent trailer like he's flying the Mantis and he obviously crash lands it 
which I don't think Grease will be all that happy about. And then it seems like maybe he's on that same planet. I know I just said it looked like Pagano, but Sia could be actually hiding on that planet that he crashes on because most of the trailer does actually take place on that planet. And so maybe that's why he's flown to that planet to actually catch up with Sia and maybe get her help. So that is another speculation or theory that I've seen out there. And I don't think that's too far-fetched either. So that could definitely be a potential reason as to why Cal is flying the Mantis on his own. For me personally, what I think is, you know, what's going to be the reason behind this is that I personally just think they have been like captured, whether it's by the Empire or whether it's by those new bounty hunters. We know that Cal is massively being hunted, not just by the Empire, but by those new villains that we kind of see throughout the trailer, whether they're you know, whether they have their own motives or whether they are just hired guns by the Empire, we're not really too sure yet. But I do think it's fair to say that Cal is obviously being hunted. And if they cotton on to these characters being part of his crew, that's not that far-fetched to think that maybe they waited to try and capture these two and then essentially use them as bait to lure Cal towards them. And maybe that's how, you know, the Empire gets their hands on Cal and maybe that's where they steal his saber like we see in the trailer. So for me personally, that is what I'm going to guess is going to happen. Now, obviously, we have absolutely no idea and all will be revealed whether it's in the new book or once the game obviously drops. But if you ask me, gun to my head, what my own speculation is going to be i have a feeling that they're going to be captured or maybe just hurt somewhere and that's why we haven't seen them in the trailer because maybe a part of the game is to go and actually save those characters now that is obviously all very wild speculation because at the end of the day we have no idea and the reason they aren't in the trailer could literally just be to add mystery and to get you know, content creators like myself and just people on Twitter and stuff to be talking about exactly this. Lucasfilm and Star Wars and I guess now Disney, they're very, very meticulous in the way that they plan their trailers. I remember back to like the Rise of Skywalker trailer and it had the dark side Ray and everyone was confused and it makes people start talking about what, you know, why she got a red saber when it really wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a vision in the movie. So they are very like, I guess, infamous for doing that. And this could literally be as simple as they're not in the trailer to get us talking and to essentially increase the impressions and chatter around the game. And then once we actually play the game, they could be there with us literally the entire time. So despite all that speculation, and I do still stick with what I said, I do think that there will be a reason why they're not in the trailer, simply because of the fact that Cal was flying the Mantis, and I just don't think Grease would let him do that if he's with him. But like I said, it could literally just be down to, you know, specific marketing that they're trying to just add a little bit of mystery. And if that's the case, it definitely has worked because this is one of the most talked about things that I've seen outside of essentially who is that like great skin character in both of the trailers but anyway guys that is my speculation and just kind of covering some of the topics that i've seen out there on reddit and twitter like i said let me know what you think of those theories as well as your own theories as to why these guys might not be in the trailer where they might be and all that kind of thing i'm very keen to hear your own theories so be sure to leave those down in the comments if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications there's going to be plenty more jedi survivor content in the lead up to launch but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and may the force be with you always.